Well, I think we all needed something lighter after last week. It's the fourth episode of The Bad Batch. Faster. And in this one, Rekatech and Omega escort Sid over to this sort of racetrack. And I'm not gonna lie, when I first heard those engines, I thought we were getting pod racing. Then I remembered the trailer and I was like, oh yeah, not pods. No, instead it's this new kind of race, with a lot of blaster fire going on. Like, I know this is meant to be like an anything goes kind of situation, but I can't help wondering, like, is this literally a race where the other drivers are trying to kill each other? Anyway, he so Sid, Wrecker, Tech, and Omega go to this place. He sends Sid's basically got this droid driver who's like, you know, he calculates down to the second, but he's also very overconfident in his abilities. Like, also, was it just me or did he sound like someone that Ben Schwartz would play? Like, I got that vibe from his voice, even though I'm sure it wasn't actually him. We also meet this other guy, don't remember his name, but he knows Sid from like the past. And he clearly has some sort of hold over her money-wise. So some bets are made. Sid's droid driver gets wrecked. Twice. So naturally it ends up leading to Tech having to step into the racer and do the thing himself. Even though he has like no real experience behind the wheel in that capacity. And he only learned about this kind of sport today. Yeah, honestly I don't think I have too much to say about this episode. It was fun, just a light-hearted romp. You kind of know where it's all going, but that's not a bad thing. After all, this may be a Star Wars show, but it's still a show for children as well. Besides, we get a fairly light-hearted episode from time to time. You know, to counterbalance the more serious, heavy, major plot-impacting stuff. It happens. Though one thing that has got me curious is at the end, because that guy really seems to believe that Sid is some sort of no-good lowlife just like him. Now we know Sid has a fairly chummy relationship with the Batch in the past, but given that we've already established that the Empire are cracking down on criminal operations, could it be that maybe something's going to happen later? Like, are they teasing the possibility of Sid betraying the Batch to the Empire in order to save her own skin? Or would she actually try and help them out, should the Empire be closing in on them all? Heck, maybe both. Either way, it's definitely given me food for thought. So, I think I'll sign off on this overly positive vlog for now. We'll see you next time for the second episode of The Beaker Girls. And then of course next week there's another new episode of The Bad Batch. And I definitely look forward to whatever that will bring. Remember folks, it can be a harsh world out there, so let's try to keep things a little more positive, shall we?